Let's do a pretend takeaway. Yes! <laughs> we are pretending the clubhouse is a takeaway. <laughs> that sounds like fun. I love takeaways. You have to ring up and tell us what you want. <laughs> <laughs> ring, ring. Ring, ring. Hello, clubhouse takeaway. How can I help you? Hello, can I order some food, please? I can't hear you very well. Can I order some food? Yes, what do you want? A vegetable tempura. I don't know what that is. It's crispy fried vegetables. No, we haven't got that. OK, I'll have a salad. Please, may I have a pizza? And I would like a pie. A salad, a pizza and a pie. Coming right up. What happens now? Now we need to find some things to cook. What sort of things? Green and crunchy things for a salad. Pizzery things for pizza. And tasty things for a pie. <laughs> Danny, Freddy and Candy are finding things to cook. <laughs> salad! <laughs> pizza! Mmm, <laughs> pie! Green and crunchy things for a salad. Pizzery things for pizza. Tasty things for a pie. Now we cook the food in our toy oven. Ping! And it's ready! <laughs> <laughs> Wait, we need boxes. You can't do takeaway food without boxes. Daddy, have you got boxes? Here, use your lunchbox. <laughs> Thank you! Takeaway boxes. Thank you, Pedro. Lovely! Peppa's office is the cupboard under the stairs. Yes, I see. Maybe your office would work better without all this stuff in the way. Yes, now I just need a little table and a chair. Here you are. Thank you, Daddy. Do, 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 do. <laughs> Sorry, George. I can't play because I am working in my office. Peppa loves working in her office. Aha! Can I do rubber stamping in my office, please? Yes, of course you can. And can I have some paper and some sticky tape, too? Here you are. Have some labels and some envelopes as well. Thank you, because I have a lot of work to do today. George, please can you lick these envelopes while I do important things? <laughs> George loves helping Pepper do her work. Hello, Mummy Pig speaking. Hello, Mummy Pig. Can I speak to Peppa, please? Peppa, it's Susie, for you. Hello, Susie. No, I can't play today. I am on a page and I'm touching my face. What? Office speak is very hard to understand. I need a chair that goes round, like Daddy's. Have my chair, Peppa. This will suit me fine. Whee! Now I can do my work! <laughs> I've made costumes for everybody! You can be a mermaid, Peppa. Thank you! <laughs> and here is a crab costume for George. Pinch, pinch! I am Susie Octopus. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Mandy Shark. Squeak! But I'm not a scary shark. I only eat cheese. <laughs> Penny Polar Bear is a penguin. Yeah. Danny Dog is a pirate. Aha! Rebecca Rabbit is, um... I'm a fish finger because I love fish fingers. <laughs> I'm a sea captain and Edmund is a jellyfish. I'm not convinced this costume accurately represents a jellyfish, but I'm not going to spoil the fun. <laughs> You all look brilliant. Is everybody ready for the pirate treasure hunt? Yes, yes Miss Rabbit. The first clue is I swim along with a giant tail. I'm the biggest fish in the sea. I'm a shark. Almost. I have a giant tail. I'm a whale. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> 
biggest fish in the sea is a whale. Actually, a whale is not a fish. It's a mammal. Edmund Elephant really is extremely clever. <coughs> OK, last clue. I'm buried treasure and X marks the spot. <laughs> <laughs> Teeny tiny. That's because it's for a tiny fish. Ah, this is for you, Goldie. <coughs> Happy birthday. <coughs> Happy birthday, <coughs> Goldie. Here is Pedro Pony. Look, Pedro, we made a little house. I thought it was a shop. We can make it into a shop if you like. Yes, yes a, a shop. shop. A, a shop. shop. Pepper, Susie, Pedro and Granny Sheep are making a cardboard shop. Now, what will you sell in your shop? Biscuits! Ice cream! Bananas! Here, you'll need a shopping basket for all that food. <laughs> <laughs> now our shop is ready. Just in time. Mummy Sheep is coming. Oh, that'll do. <laughs> <laughs> Mummy! Do you want to buy something from our shop? Uh, yes. Uh, what do you sell? It is a food shop. Would you like a little something to go with your coffee? Oh, yes, please. We've got bananas, ice cream and chocolate biscuits. And they are all made of cardboard. Oh, I'll have a chocolate biscuit, please. <laughs> hmm, that's delicious. Here is Danny Dog. Hello, everyone. Hello, Hello Danny. Danny. We made a shop. Can we make a rocket? Yes. Pepper, Susie, Pedro, Danny and Granny Sheep are making a cardboard rocket. <sighs> Mummy Sheep, you can be the moon. Thanks, Mum. And Granny, you can be the sun. Thank you, Susie. Now everybody into space. <laughs> <laughs> You can all find something to wear in the dressing up box. <laughs> Pepper has found a top hat. <laughs> Danny Dog has found some spotty trunks and a stick on moustache. <laughs> Pedro has found a clown outfit. Who wants makeup? Me, please. What does everyone want to be? <laughs> I want to be the clown. But Peppa, where is your clown costume? OK, you be the clown. I want to be the strong man. OK, Danny, you be the strong man. I want to be the juggler. But I wanted to do that. Wow! OK, you be the juggler. Grandpa, <coughs> I don't have a job to do. You can be the ringmaster, Peppa. You've got the hat for it. What's a ringmaster? The ringmaster is the boss. Yes! I'll be the ringmaster! <laughs> what do I do? You say, welcome to my circus. See the impossible, the amazing, the incredible feats of daring do. Ooh! Uh, welcome to my circus. It's got amazing feats. <laughs> Aha! I'm the happy pirate from the pirate book. <laughs> Pirates are my favourite because they are funny and they sing happy songs and... Brush their teeth? Yes, brush their teeth. <laughs> are we all ready for World Book Day tomorrow? No. <laughs> my favourite book keeps changing. Oh, oh, don't worry, Pepper. You can decide in the morning. Today is World Book Day. Oh, my! What wonderful 
costumes. <laughs> Tell us, Pedro, who are you? I'm the hunter from Little Red Riding Hood. He's strong and brave and kind to old ladies. <laughs> Very good. And I am Dogbeard the Sailor from the adventures of Dogbeard the Sailor. And why is he your favourite? Because he's strong and brave. And I think he might be kind to old ladies too. Excellent. I'm an old lady. So you are, Candy. But are you not also a witch? Yes, so be careful or I might turn you into a frog. <laughs> <laughs> and you, Edmund? You have come as... The big number from Mummy Pig's book. <laughs> 176,859,312. Oh, what an amazing choice. Ah, George, you are dressed as... Dinosaur. <laughs> but where is Pepper? Here I am. Ooh. What book are you, Pepper? I am all my favourite books. I have fairy wings, a pirate hat, a har, a red monkey tail, and quack quack duck feet. <laughs> You're a fairy pirate monkey duck. <laughs> <laughs> you look funny, Mummy Broccoli. So do you, Pepper Broccoli. Shh! No talking on set. We are about to start filming my movie, Vegetables in Space. Lights. Camera, action! Attention, the galaxy is being taken over by a bunch of naughty carrots. Not the carrots! Yes, the naughty carrot bunch. I, Super Potato, am here to save the day. And I, Hash Brown, will save the day too. Um, what do we do? You are the vegetables in space. You have to cheer when we save the day. Oh, OK. How are you going to save the day, Super Potato? Uh, we haven't thought of that bit yet. Oh, no! The naughty carrots will destroy the universe. If only there was some way of getting rid of them. We can't eat the carrots. But there are too many. What's this? There are some fans here to see Hash Brown. It is Miss Rabbit, Miss Rabbit, Miss Rabbit, and Miss Rabbit. Hooray! It's the Miss Rabbit! We decided to take the day off for a change. We couldn't miss Hash Brown. He's our favorite potato starch based movie star. <laughs> You're too kind. Uh, could you help us save the universe? We have to eat the carrots. Sure thing, we're rabbits. We love carrots. Save some for me. I love carrots too. Look, it's our Miss Rabbit. Mmm, yummy. We did it! The universe is saved! Hooray! This is how the world looked a long time ago, when there were dinosaurs. Ooh. Let's start our historical reenactment. What do we do? I suppose we just stomp around and roar. Hooray! A long time ago, dinosaurs walked the Earth, just like this. I see the party started. It's not a party. Hello. Hope I'm not late for the party. You're just in time. Ah, a cup of tea. Thanks, old chap. It is Grumpy Rabbit. He is dressed as a caveman. Why are you dressed as a caveman? Well, you said it was a dinosaur party. And dinosaurs and cavemen go well together. Uh, actually... Anyway, I'm good at being a caveman. Ah! Uh, <laughs> I hope you don't mind, but I asked my daughter along to the party. Miss Rabbit is driving a huge robot dragon. Hello, everyone! Oh, sorry! It's a bit hard to control this thing. Stand back, everyone! But that's a dragon, not a dinosaur. Whatever! You have to admit, it's good. I suppose it's like a dinosaur. 
OK, everyone, on with the reenactment. <laughs> 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 How long is this going on for? Didn't the dinosaurs die out at some point? Yes, 66 million years ago, the world was hit by an asteroid. What is an asteroid? It's a huge ball of rock floating through space. An asteroid would be super. But where can we get one? <coughs> it is Mr Fox. Hello, Granny Pig. I heard you were having a dinosaur party, and I thought I might be able to sell you some stuff. That's very kind of you, Mr Fox. I've got rubber pterodactyls, plastic nodding herbivores. We need an asteroid. It's like a ball. And it has to be very big. I've got just the thing, a giant beach ball. Wow! Perfect! That could be our asteroid. <laughs> What's next in the story? Naughty Granny Pig, you woke the little ones. You promised to sleep when the story ends, Grandpa. I'm good at ending stories, Granny Pig. You go downstairs. I won't be long. There's a boy, a beanstalk, a beautiful princess, a brave knight, and the cook who makes a lovely dinner. Well, after they ate the lovely dinner, everyone fell asleep. The end. Then they all woke up and along came a wizard. A wizard? Yes, a wizard. We're going to do a big magic show. Ah, uh, but... Then along came a scary dragon. <laughs> <laughs> Granny Pig, Mummy Pig and Daddy Pig are still waiting to eat dinner. That bedtime story doesn't seem to be working. I'm the expert at telling bedtime stories. I'll have them asleep in no time. Ah, a scary dragon! <laughs> Emma, George, back to bed. But Grandpa hasn't finished the story yet, Daddy. I'll finish the story. I'll be down in a minute. <laughs> OK. There's a boy, a beanstalk, a castle, a beautiful princess, a brave knight, a cook, a wizard and a scary dragon. And a very hungry king. So they all had a big dinner and lived happily ever after. The end. Then they had a party. And all their friends came. <laughs> Good morning, children. Where is Madame Gazelle? Here I am. Oh. I was wearing a mask. <laughs> you were in disguise. Yes, and today you will all be making masks. Hooray! We have cardboard and coloured paper, <laughs> crayons and paints, <laughs> feathers, pipe cleaners, buttons, pom-poms. Can we use glitter? <laughs> no glitter. Please, Madam Gazelle. Please, Madam Gazelle. No, I have only just managed to clean up from the last glitter event. Begin your masks, children. <laughs> Pepper is using coloured tissue paper. I'm making a butterfly mask. <laughs> Danny Dog is using buttons and drinking straws. I'm making a robot mask. <laughs> Susie Sheep is using feathers. I'm making a magic owl mask. Twit twoo! I've made a superhero mask. Nay. I've made a carrot mask. <laughs> And my little brother Richard is a baby carrot. We like carrots. <laughs> George has made a dinosaur mask. <laughs> dinosaur. <laughs> and what mask is yours, Edmund? It is the solar system with all the planets. I see. I've included Pluto, even though it's only classed as a planetoid. Very good. <laughs> Edmund Elephant is a clever clogs. <laughs> Let's go find some treasure! Hurrah! Danny Dog likes being a pirate. Hurrah! Everyone likes being a pirate. Hurrah! Oh, jolly pirates we that sail the deep blue sea. 
Danny has found a pine cone. Treasure! Pepper has found a shell. Treasure! Susie has found an old bit of rope. Treasure! <laughs> Freddy has found a pebble. Treasure! I'll just have a little sleep. Pedro mm. always takes his glasses off before he sleeps. Let's creep up on Pedro! Yes! Danny, Pepper, Susie and Freddy are creeping up on Pedro. Boo! Oh! Ah! You were asleep! Uh, yes. Sorry. You're lucky we're friendly pirates. <coughs> We've got treasure. That's nice. Let's put it in the treasure chest. Now we can bury it. Yes! And I'll stay here and guard the pirate ship. OK, Pirate Pedro, but don't fall asleep this time. I won't. Hurrah! <sighs> the pirates are off to bury the treasure chest over a hill, round the little bush. Let's bury it here. How will we know where we it. Let's make a treasure map. Over the hill, round the little bush, and X marks the spot. X marks the spot. <laughs> wow! I'll race you. And me. And me. I want to race too. Where's your racing car, Pepper? I don't have a racing car. Don't worry, Peppa. You can be the chief mechanic. What does that do? You fix George's car if it goes wrong. Oh, goody. <laughs> I hope it goes wrong a lot. <laughs> Let's start the race. Three times round the garden. Ready? <laughs> Steady? <laughs> go! Yeah. And they're off. That's the end of lap one, and George is in the lead. What's all this noise out here? I'm trying to watch television. We're having a race, Granny. That's the end of lap two, and George is still in the lead. <laughs> oh, dear. A wheel has come off George's car. Where's the chief mechanic? Here I am. What do we do? Okay, Chief Mechanic. Go, George, go! Oh, dear. George is now at the back of the race. Pedal faster, George! Come on, George! Come on, George! George is the winner! Hooray! Well done, George! You're the best racing driver in the whole world! <laughs> and you've got the best chief mechanic in the whole world, too! Yes, that's me! <laughs> <laughs> Funny. I'm not walking, Susie. Where's your bicycle? It's here. It's a pretend bicycle. <coughs> it's got sparkly wheels and it's painted like a rainbow. Ooh. I wish I had a pretend bicycle. You can, and it can be anything you like. OK. My pretend bicycle is pink and fluffy. <laughs> wow! <laughs> <laughs> Here is Danny Dog. Hello. Hello, Danny. Do you want to play ball? Have you got a ball? No. It doesn't matter. We can have a pretend ball. Catch, Danny! <laughs> Let's give it a big kick. Oof! Oh! Hello, everyone. It is Rebecca Rabbit. Hello, Rebecca. We're playing with a pretend ball. Until Danny kicked it over there. Oh, I know a pretending game. You have to guess what I am. You're a rabbit. No, I'm pretending to be something else. 
Are you a donkey? No. Are you a fluffy elephant? No. A space rocket? No. <sighs> this is going to take a long time, isn't it? Ask me if I'm big. Are you big? No. I'll give you a clue. I'm a vegetable. Hmm. Can you give us a better clue? Ask me if I'm a carrot. Are you a carrot? Yes. Hooray! <laughs> George has come to play. George, you pretend to be something and we will guess what you are. A dinosaur. <laughs> Balloons! There you go, George. Don't let go. Oh. Don't worry, George. Here's another one. <laughs> Who else wants a balloon? Me, me, me. I wonder how big I can make them. Wow! It's the biggest balloon in the world. Yes, I suppose it might be. Ah! She's going up. <gasps> Don't worry. I'll stop when I get to the ceiling. As long as there isn't any window open. Oh, dear. There is a window open. Perhaps I should have closed that. Ah! Ah! Super Potato, fly after her. But I promise not to use my superpowers. And I never break a promise. Help! Save me! Help! Super Potato, Help! we need you to use your superpowers now. Really? I'm allowed to? Yes! yes! Okay. Time to use my laser eyes to pop the balloon. Brilliant! Now what? Um, I know. I'll use my super elastic arms to catch you. Oof! Super Potato has rescued Miss Rabbit. Hooray! Thank you! No problem. I'm a potato. I always save the day. Super Potato is amazing! This is my best birthday party ever! <laughs> Children, today we are going to talk about what you would like to be when you grow up. Ooh. You can use the dressing up box to help you decide. <laughs> <laughs> Madame Gazelle? I don't know what I want to be when I grow up. Don't worry, Peppa. You have plenty of time to think about it. OK. When I grow up, I want to be the queen. So I can tell people what to do. I see. I think I might like to be a teacher. What is it about being a teacher that you like the most, Emily? Telling people what to do. OK. I want to be a policeman when I grow up. The police drive cars with flashing lights. Nina, Nina, Nina. Thank Nina, you, Freddy. Nina, woo. <laughs> what else do you like about being a policeman? They tell people what to do. Right. I would like to be a doctor or a nurse. Why do you think you would like that job, Susie? Because they help sick people get better. <laughs> Wonderful. And they tell people what to do. Yes, not all jobs are about telling people what to do. Oh. There are lots of other important jobs like being a builder or a poet. When I grow up, I will be a pirate. Aha! Pirates sing happy songs and they go yo ho ho. Yes, I'm not sure that being a pirate is a job as such. Either a pirate or a farmer. Oh, yes. Being a farmer is much better. You would grow things and make food for us all to eat. <laughs> twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. <laughs> the sky is full of stars. And they look even better when the lights are out. Ooh, the stars are glittery. Danny's pirate bedroom is done. It's just like when they do the makeovers on TV. Um, on TV, the person has to open their eyes and say, what a surprise! But you've already seen it all. <laughs> I can pretend I haven't. Good idea, Danny. Yes, let's make it even better by having you step outside the room. 
close your eyes? And let's close the door. Are you ready, Denny? Yes, I'm ready. Keep your eyes closed. I will. <laughs> OK, in you come. No peeking. <laughs> now open your eyes. What a surprise! <laughs> <laughs> OK, me hearties. Who is ready to set sail? Me! Me! Let's climb aboard the ship. <laughs> Where shall we sail to, Captain Danny? Ha-ha! <laughs> Let's look for sea monsters. Sea monsters, you say? That sounds like a grand adventure to me. Yo ho ho, yo ho ho, a pirate ship on a stormy sea. That's my favorite place to be. Yo ho ho, yo ho ho, a pirate ship on a stormy sea. That's my favorite place to be. We are sailing on the sea. Yes, what could be better? Sail in the sea and staying at home. This is the best pirate bedroom ever. Aha! Pepper and George are playing in the garden. Look, George, a lovely muddy puddle to jump in. <laughs> Pepper, George, come on, we're going out. Oh. But we wanted to jump in muddy puddles. Don't worry. I'm sure we'll find lots of puddles today. We're going for a lovely walk in the woods. Oh, are there puddles in the woods? Yes, I should think so. Is everybody ready? Yes, yes Mummy Pig. Pig. Then let's go. <laughs> I love muddy puddles. Splishy, splashy puddles. I love muddy puddles. La da dee da do. <laughs> <laughs> Pepper and her family have arrived at the woods. Ah, oh, I adore woodland walks. The birds singing, the dappled sunlight. The... Where are the puddles? There's one. Hooray! Muddy puddles. Oh, this puddle is not very muddy. That's because it's got leaves and twigs in it. Not all puddles are muddy, Pepper. Hmm, this puddle is twiggy. And it's crackly. So what would you call it? A twiggy, crackly puddle. <laughs> <laughs> hmm, I would have to agree. Woodland puddles are twiggy and crackly. Can we find a puddle that's a bit more... Sploshy. OK, but we'll need to go somewhere else. Why don't we go to the beach? Yes, the beach! <laughs> Looking for muddy puddles Splishy, sploshy puddles Looking for muddy puddles A la da dee da do. <laughs> Listen to the wind. It goes Ooh, wow. Ooh. Playtime, children! <laughs> Look for something we can make a poem about. <laughs> what can we make a poem about? A little bird. Little bird. Birdie bird. You are very birdie. <laughs> That's good, Peppa. What about the swing? <laughs> swing, swing, swingy thing, swingy thingy, swing thing. <laughs> <laughs> Making up poems is easy. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. <laughs> <laughs> ah, oh. It is raining. Oh dear, I must get the big umbrella. Splash, splash, splash. This is fun. Gather round, children. I have the big umbrella. The big umbrella. That is a big umbrella. Listen to the rain on the umbrella. It goes pitter patter, pitter patter. Now it sounds like. <laughs> Back to school, everyone! <laughs> George's hat is caught in a tree. George, you are all muddy. Oh, 
But your hat is still clean. <laughs> Thank goodness for that. I'll get it down for you. Uh, perhaps I had better help. No, Grandpa. I can do it. Whoops. <laughs> oh, dear. Pepper is covered in mud. I see two little piggies who need a bath. <laughs> George's hat is on top of some reeds in the pond. Lucky for us, your hat is still clean, George. But how do we get it? This is a job for a grown-up. Hmm, I will need a stick. Don't fall in, Grandpa. I know what I'm doing, Peppa. <laughs> I can reach it. I see a big piggy who needs a bath. <laughs> <laughs> Grandpa Pig, what on earth are you doing? I'm having a cup of tea. No, you're not. Of course I'm not. That was a joke. It is perfectly clear to see that I have fallen into the pond. That was a silly thing to do. Peppa, George, you're both covered in mud too. We were trying to get George's hat back, Granny. Where is George's hat anyway? It's flying in the sky! I will get George's hat back and then you can all get cleaned up. Be careful, Granny! I would use a stick. Thank you, everyone, but it's perfectly fine. I've got boots on. If you walk on that manure, you will sink. Hush, Grandpa. I have no intention of sinking. I can reach it. Got it! Yeah! Oh, dear. Granny Pig is covered in manure. Ooh, smelly Granny Pig. <laughs> <laughs> Susie has an apple. Thank you, Madame Gazelle. Very good, Susie. And Danny would like that apple. Yes, I would like that apple. OK, Danny, ask Susie for the apple. Can I have that apple? Yes. Mmm, yummy. Let's try that again. When you ask for something, Danny, you must remember to say the magic word. Abracadabra. No. What is the magic word, children? Please. Oh, yes. Are you ready? Yes. yes. Then off you go. Can I have that apple, please? No. Susie. He's already got an apple. This is not about apples. It is about saying please. OK. Here's another apple. And now, Danny? What? The other magic word. Oh, yes. Thank you. Very good. <laughs> <laughs> Feet, legs and knees I like saying please, please, please Thank you so much for that thing Thank you makes me want to sing Hands, feet, legs and knees I like saying please, please, please Thank you so much for that thing Thank you makes me want to sing Hands, feet, legs and knees I like saying please, please, please What wonderful singing, children! You will all go on the being nice tree Hooray! <laughs> I finished cutting the grass, Madame Gazelle. Very good, Mr. Bull. Goodbye. <laughs> Madame Gazelle! What? What is it? You forgot to say thank you. Oh, yes. How rude of me. Thank you, Mr. Bull, for all your hard work. It was my pl... And thank you, children, for reminding me to say my please and thank yous. <laughs> Madame Gazelle likes to say please and thank you. Everyone <laughs> likes to say please and thank you. <laughs> the pumpkin is impossible to lift. I told you it was too big. It's not too big. We just need a bit of help. Hello, Miss Rabbit's helicopter rescue service. Miss Rabbit, please come to our rescue. It's very important. Come quickly. I'm on my way. All the children have brought their pumpkin lanterns to playgroup. Welcome to the pumpkin competition. If everyone is here, we will get started. Pepper isn't here. Oh, where is she? 
Miss Rabbit's rescue helicopter has arrived at Grandpa's greenhouse. So, who needs rescuing? My pumpkin! We have to get it to the playgroup in time for the competition. OK. Hop aboard! <laughs> <laughs> Next stop, the playgroup. I think we will have to start without Peppa. Aww, it won't be fun without Peppa. The prize for the best pumpkin grown from seed goes to Susie Sheep. That's me. This is fun. <laughs> the prize for the best pumpkin bought from a supermarket goes to Pedro Pony. That's me. Nay. The prize for the best plastic pumpkin goes to... What's that noise? Look! What's that? There's a light in the sky. Ooh. <laughs> it's a flying pumpkin. It's Papa's pumpkin. Wow! Hello! Sorry we're late. Hello, Hello Peppa. Peppa. Am I in time for the pumpkin competition? Yes, of course. The prize for the best flying pumpkin goes to Peppa Pig. Yay! <laughs> the field is ready to be cut. You wait here and watch. I put a cutter on the front, a baler on the back, and the tractor does all the work. The tractor is cutting and making bales. Wow! Job done. All thanks to my tractor. The trailer is joined to the tractor again. On with the tour! <laughs> it's very muddy here. Will we get stuck? No! Tractors are good at driving through mud. <laughs> and now we're going to drive along the road. Thank you for your patience. Mummy and Daddy Pig are coming to pick up Pepper and George. Oh, no. We're stuck in a traffic jam again. <laughs> like you said, Mummy Pig, we just have to be patient. Or maybe we could take a shortcut. Uh, are you sure this is a good idea? I know what I'm doing. Mummy Pig is taking a shortcut. <laughs> no traffic jam for us. This is brilliant. I think we're stuck. Look, that's our car. Do you need help? No, thanks. We're fine. Um, we might be a little bit stuck. Perhaps we could use some help. Of course. Hold tight. Hooray! Thank you for rescuing us, Mrs Badger. Don't thank me. Thank my tractor. The tomatoes have done very well this year. They look a lot bigger than your tomatoes, Grandpa. They may be bigger, but that doesn't mean they're better. Pepper, would you like to taste one? Yes, please. Mmm, <sniffs> yummy. That is the best tomato I have ever tasted, ever. Ah, how did you grow them, Grandad Dog? I didn't really mean to grow them. I just threw some old tomato seeds down in the corner there and they grew. Fill your basket. There's too many for me to eat. Thank you. We're going to make a lovely tomato salad. Ah, I know a great recipe for a tomato salad. Lovely. Can you make it for us? The problem is, my recipe needs basil. And I haven't managed to grow any basil. My grandpa has lots of lovely basil. Really? Oh, yes. Grown heaps of the stuff. Let me show you. Very impressive. Tell me, what's the secret of growing basil? Well, it's quite tricky. The first thing you have to do... I throw some seeds in a pot and the basil grows. You mean it just grows by itself? Uh... Yes. Is it lunchtime yet, Granny? Oh, my poor darlings, you must be starving. Let's make that tomato salad. 
First we slice the tomatoes. Add a little splash of olive oil, a shake of pepper, a teeny tiny pinch of salt, and finish the whole thing off with these lovely basil leaves. Tuck in, everyone! Mmm! Mmm! Marvellous tomatoes! Thanks to my greenhouse. Mmm! Beautiful basil! Thanks to my greenhouse. This is the best tomato salad in the world ever! <laughs> <laughs> Add some hot water. A grown-up must do this bit. And stir. The water has gone strawberry colour. Yes, the jelly cubes have melted. Now we can pour it into the jelly mould. The fridge will make it go cold and wobbly. How long will it take? Not long. Let's set the timer. When the timer goes ping, the jelly will be ready. It's taking a long time. While we wait, let's make Mummy a card to go with the jelly. Yes! Pepper and George are drawing a jelly card for <laughs> Mummy Pig. Very good. What should we write inside? Um, dear Mummy, all this jelly is for you. Love from Peppa and George. Kiss, kiss. Um, please can you share your jelly with Peppa and George? <coughs> and can Daddy have some too? Lovely. The timer has gone ping and the jelly is ready. We just turn the mould over on the plate and out pops the... Jelly! It's wibbly and it's wobbly! Blah, blah, blah. The end. Mummy Pig has finished her important work. <gasps> Mummy's coming! Surprise! Surprise! <gasps> How wonderful! We made jelly! Ooh, my favourite. And it's all for you. And some for me and George and Daddy. Wibbly wobbly jelly. Thank you. <laughs> Mummy and Daddy Pig, Pepper and George like jelly. Everyone likes jelly. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Mr. Pig. Come inside. Oh, oh. Please excuse the mess. We're building an extension. Oh. I'm a bit of an expert on extensions. Let me know if you need any advice. That's very kind of you. Yes, it takes a lot of skilled people to build a house. Plumbers, electricians, architects. Actually, Mr Mole and I are just building it ourselves. Oh. Hello, Mr Pig. Hello, Mr Mole. Uh, interesting place you've got here. Thanks. There's a little bit more digging to do, but... How are you holding the ceiling up? Is it a steel or a concrete lintel? Lintel? What's a lintel? Well, the good thing about digging a house is that you do what you want, where you want. You could put a door here... Or a door here! Or you could even put one here! Uh, hello, Mr Rabbit. Oh! Hello. Hello, Mr Mole. <laughs> oh, I hope it's OK. I've just made a doorway in your floor. A doorway in the floor? What a good idea. Would you like a cup of tea? Who are you talking to, Mr Mole? I was talking to Mr Rabbit. Hello, Mrs Mole. Oh, hello, Mr Rabbit. How's the extension going? Almost there. Oh, very nice. Very nice. It's great having a hole between our houses because now you can come and play with me anytime you want. <laughs> yes, and you can come and play with me anytime you want. I like you living here, Molly. I like living here too. <laughs> <laughs> Will you be my best friend? Squeak! Yes, please. <laughs> Molly Mole and Rebecca Rabbit are best friends. <laughs> Pepper and her family have come to the market to do their shopping. Fresh apples! Can we buy some apples, please? What kind would you like? Big or small? Red or green? We would like the apples that taste nice. Why don't you try one? Hmm, lovely. A bag of the lovely apples, please. 
Cheese! Cheese! <laughs> yum, yum! George loves cheese. <laughs> I've got a very smelly cheese here. Uh, maybe Daddy Pig uh, should give it a sniff. Oh. The smell of the cheese has knocked Daddy Pig off his feet. Wow, that's what I call a strong cheese. Good, isn't it? Mmm, yum, yum. George likes smelly cheese. <laughs> May we buy that one, please? Of course. Fish! Nice fresh fish! Can we buy some fish, please? OK. I've got trout, addock, mackerel or squid. What would you like? They all look good. How about I give you some of each? Then you can make a lovely fish pie. Fish pie? Yummy! There you go. Thank you very much. <laughs> Look for something that makes a squeaky noise, George. George has found a towel. Towels don't squeak. <coughs> Towels are very quiet. Oh. <coughs> squeaky. The rubber duck. <laughs> that makes a squeaky noise. <coughs> <coughs> Daddy, Daddy, look what we found. Ho, oh, oh. ho. Excellent. Now see if you can find something the colour of blue. Something blue? OK. <laughs> Pepper and George have found a ball. That's not blue. That's red. Oh. Pepper and George look in Mummy and Daddy's bedroom. Aw, there's nothing blue here. Pepper and George look in the office. Everything is not blue. Did you find anything? There is nothing in the whole house that is blue. Hmm, have you looked in the mirror? Daddy, the mirror is not blue. <gasps> blue! What is it, George? Blue! <laughs> George is blue. That's right. <laughs> Peppa, George. Mummy, Mummy, we've been looking for things. Oh, I've got something you can look for. What is it, Mummy? It's round. A ball. Round and flat on top, a bit like a hat. A hat. And it tastes yummy. The apple pie. Yes, the apple pie is ready. Hooray! Hooray! I love looking for things. And I love finding things, especially when it's apple, apple pie. pie. <laughs> <laughs> what a fantastic day out that was. Yes, we've learned about all kinds of puddles. First, the twiggy crackly puddle. In the woods with the leaves and twigs. Then the scrunchy crunchy puddle. At the beach with the sand and water. And the splatty puddle. In the playground. <laughs> <laughs> it's sad we didn't find any muddy puddles. <laughs> I know where to find the best muddy puddles. Pepper and George have arrived back home. <laughs> muddy puddles! <laughs> So, Pepper, what do you call this puddle? It is splishy and splashy splashy. A splish splash splosh muddy puddle. No, Daddy. It is the bestest puddle in the world. So I will call it a Pepper puddle. <laughs> Pepper loves jumping up and down in Pepper puddles. Everyone loves jumping up and down in Peppa Puddles. You can ask your parents to subscribe to Nick Jr.'s Blue's Clues and You YouTube channel for new videos every week. <laughs>